Hey y'all, this is your girl Monique Nicole. If you're not familiar with me, make sure you get to know your girl after you check out Is That Your Hair's review on this beautiful wig, Jemai. I already know that she is going to slay it and I want to say I am so happy that I am doing this collaboration with her. So make sure you show your girl some love. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And once again, don't forget to check out my review on this beautiful wig in this beautiful color. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. So I am experimenting with a different angle today. I'm using natural light just to see how I like it because I wasn't really feeling the ring light today. So let's get into the video. All right, so today is a collab that I'm doing with Monique Nicolet. Definitely check out her channel. She has some really good content on there. She reviews all types of wigs and especially the color ones, I love when she reviews them. So definitely peep the link to her channel in the description box down below and go ahead and check her out. So today I'm reviewing a wig by Zuri Sis and it's the Naturally Star collection and it's called Jemai. Let me just look at this packaging. Look at how adorable this packaging is. Oh my God, it's so cute. Cheese. So we're gonna unbox her together. I have Jemai in the Sombre RT blush color. Ooh, wow, this is pink and vibrant. Ooh. <laughs> so I've been eyeing Jemai for a while, so I'm really excited to try her out and see how she looks on me. <laughs> Rick James. I does look like Rick James colored his hair. Okay. So straight off the pack, this looks pretty wild and pretty crazy. But y'all know me, you know I love to customize wigs. So if you want to see me turn this from nothing into something, keep watching. Project. I definitely cut off so much hair and I'm, I'm still not satisfied. I cut all of the sides, the back, um, I cut some of the bang. I actually brought a little bit more hair forward to um, create more of a bang. Just tried to make it frame my face a little bit and this is what I have right now. So let me just tell you the specs of the wig. First of all, there are two combs in the front and a comb in the back and adjustable straps. This wig is not a lace front. This has a little bit of lace parting right at the crown area where it's supposed to be a part, where the bangs come down in your face. Obviously, as you saw in the beginning of the video, that style was not working for me, hence why I pushed the bangs over to the side. Okay, so the reason why I bought this wig was because I saw someone else review it. And I actually heard about Jemai a few years ago, but kind of just slept on her and and now I'm just thinking like, damn, I should have kept sleeping. The color is cute. It has like pinks, different, like three different shades of pink. Some of it's bubblegum pink um, and some of it's more of a mauve mixed in. And with the lighting, it keeps changing. And then there's like a dark brown root here, like a almost like a four or three. Um, but right now it looks really bright because of the sun. Pairs with my eyeshadow though. One of the pros for me was the color because I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I would love, you know, I would love to try pink like that. Um, I, I really like the color blend. 
and as some of you may know i love pink hair i actually have a pink hair playlist so definitely check that out in the cards above yeah i, I thought okay i don't have a pink fro like may as well try something new and uh, y'all not feeling jamai main reason why i'm not feeling jamai is the cap construction let me take this off and show you so right here is just i mean these are tracks, right? But it's just so bulky. I hate how bulky it is. And, and it just, oh my God. So yes, I don't like the bulkiness of the cap. The second thing I do not like is the texture of the hair. It's like, the, these curls in the front are, are cute. I mean, I get it's supposed to be like a messy, curly suit kind of look, but it, all these different directions over here is really annoying me. The texture is just like, I mean, it's a true, like this joint looks synthetic. It definitely looks like a costume wig to me. Now, mind you, I only paid, what? I think I definitely paid less than $20 for this wig. So you can say you get what you pay for, you can say that. But I've definitely tried, I've tried two other synthetic, well, kinky curly wigs that were maybe $15 or so, and they were bomb. This right here, this wiry, kind of like straw ramen noodle thing I got going on here. I'm not feeling that. So yeah, I can't get with the cap construction and I can't get with the texture. I just keep looking at it and I'm, I want to like the color. I want to like this because of the color, but <laughs> mm -mm, y'all, it's not working for me. Yes, this is heat resistant, so you could straighten it if you want to. I see no purpose in straightening curly wigs and I'm not gonna do it, waste my time with this. Y'all, this is not cute to me. I'm not wearing this out the house. This definitely reminds me of an 80s kind of vibe, which I can get with if maybe the texture was better. You know, they should just redo the whole wig. Like, first of all, give it some type of lace frontal or lace parting. Maybe put better hair and then just try again. Yeah, Jemai. <laughs> Don't waste your time. I hope you watch this whole video to see that I don't want you to waste your time. I'm actually gonna cut it some more <laughs> because maybe it'll help me like it a little bit more. I'm normally really good about choosing wigs for myself. Like normally 9.5 out of 10, I like the way I choose for myself, but yeah, honey, this, this ain't it. Mm -mm. And some might say, oh, what if you got a number two color? Would you like it? No. I've just had way better. I feel like this is something I would have gotten in 2015. At that time, there weren't a lot of kinky hair synthetic wigs that were like this. But now that there are way more options, no, absolutely not. Actually, I can think of one right now. The Vanessa LeJay wig is a synthetic wig that's at a low price point, it's like $17. And I love that wig. That was my first synthetic kinky hair wig. And that joy is bomb. And it's not wiry looking like this. Okay, I can go on and on, I need to stop. YouTube fam so I am back and as you can see I cut her some more and I will say I like her this short I like her style this way a lot more and I cut at an angle here I didn't really mess with the back too much I, I like her style this way a lot more it's making it tolerable for me to make it through this video would I buy this hell no would I suggest you to buy it hell no but I would say if you want to practice some of your cutting skills and you just need a wig to like practice on, sure, buy her. I also put on some hoop earrings and I feel kind of cute. Kind of reminds me of like Whitney circa late 1980s and I love Whitney, so yeah, she looks cute like this. I still hate the cap construction, but hey, what can you do? So let me know what your thoughts are on this wig in the comments down below. Let me know if you like the amendments that I've made. Do you think I made a lot of progress? Do you think I should have just trashed it from the beginning? Tell me how you really feel. I didn't like it, but maybe somewhere out, someone out there will. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll see me in the next video. Bye.